here we go. It's time to decide who we're getting in bed with and what company better to do it than our very own Kiwi company, Feldon Shelter. I'm excited to get this thing equipped. Let's get it inside and start working. Hey mate. Oh, good to see you man. You too bro. Thanks so much for having me on. Oh, no, it's our pleasure. I've been so excited. So what have you got planned for us today? Um, we're going to sort you somewhere to sleep for your next trip. So we're going to check out one of our um, Crow's Nest rooftop tents and on top of the cruiser and get you sorted. I can't wait. I've been following Felden Shelter basically since the beginning um, and I've been talking to Joel for the last couple of years and we've finally come up with a plan and we're making it happen. So let's get into it. So as the guys are putting the last finishing touches onto the 70 series, we're going to steal the Ranger and head down to West Supply. Last time I was there was a couple of months before they opened up, so I can't wait to see what they did with the place. We'll see you there. So I've been following Felden Shelter right from the beginning from their workshop out in the country. Recently they evolved and opened West Supply, which is in the heart of Waimamaku, and it's all of the full driving accessories like front runner, rhino rack, um, all the camping accessories that go hand in hand with Felden Shelter brought to you at a convenient location. They've also brought Coca Cola coffee to it, so it's a real cool place to hang out, to start a trip or to finish a trip. Nurawai Beach is just down the road and so has Woodell Forest. Let's go and have a look at what they've got in store. So here we are in store with Beth, one of the owners of Feldon Shelter and West Supply. Beth, I love what you've done with the place. Last time I was in here, you were a couple of months from opening up. Um, so do you want to tell us how West Supply has come about and what are you guys doing here? Yeah. So firstly, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Um, West Supply came from a space of what we were finding is a lot of our customers were coming through the workshop. Um, we were installing the tent on top of their roof, giving them an unfold, giving them a lesson, and then kind of sharing all our like tips and tricks for like hitting the road. Um, within that came like lots of questions like, what is a good chili bin, or should I do it like fridge versus chili, or what kind of sleeping bag do I run? Um, what's a good like gas cooker and stuff like that. So there were lots of questions and what we found ourselves doing is we were writing like a little checklist um, for all sort of stores to sort of visit around Auckland. Um, and then we were sending our customers off. So we thought, why not create a space where it's a one-stop shop for all outdoor gear, um, good gear. So gear, just like the Felden, you sort of buy once and you buy right. Um, and stuff that will see you through to like, yeah, having a good time. So this is West Supply. It is the home of good times. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. And one more thing. I yeah. really love the community you guys have built around Felden Shelter and West Supply. And it's not just a place to come in and look at full drive gear. Like you've got the coffee shop there. Mm. You know, it's a place to come out, hang out. It's a come start a trip. So planning a trip to Murawai or Woodhill or even further along, 
start your trip here or even finish a trip here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, get your yeah. mates out. So I we promise can't wait. you, a good brew. That's it. <laughs> we had one this morning. It was pretty good. Is so I can't wait to have a little look around. But um, yeah. yeah, thanks for having us in. Very welcome. Right. So if you're in New Zealand, it's got to be a Felden shelter. <laughs> I was just saying to Joel actually. So over the Christmas break, we went up north and. I swear it was about 9 out of 10 cars was running one of these. So, first of all, well done on that. Thank you very much. Um, but let's dive into some of the little key features that really sets these tents apart from everything else. So, um, take it away, mate. Cheers. So, we're, we're coming up to our seventh summer of, you know, setting Kiwis up with rooftop tents. Um, and so, for me and the team here, it's been like nearly 10 years now of working with rooftop tents. So, I've learned a lot of tricks about what does work and what doesn't work, materials wise, design wise and all that kind of thing um, for New Zealand conditions. Because New Zealand, it's a tough one here. We've got like the worst UV you can get. We've got like rain, snow, sun all in one day. So it's a really good place to actually develop quite a solid product. So for a product to do well here, it really has to last. Um, the biggest thing about the Feldens is how we produce them and the materials that we're using. So we use a lot of New Zealand gear, New Zealand made gear in the tents. Um, New Zealand made uh, all the laser cutting, all the 316 stainless stuff's done here. The, the rope, the webbing, all those bits and pieces that the UV's beating down on and the salt's getting in that are going to wear. We, we trust New Zealand made gear for that. Um, and as far as the design of the tents goes, it's made for New Zealand conditions. So the wind, the rain, we've curved the roof, all the panels on the tent are all downward facing. So any rain and runoff like that isn't going to sit in seams and slowly seep into areas that it shouldn't go into. Um, you can see the shape of the windows, the shape of the roof, the shape of the whole thing is designed in a way that when wind hits it, it's not going to have a solid point to hit. It's going to hit and then veer off in different directions. So it's quite aerodynamic, reduces flapping, creates a bit of sleep, means everyone has a bit of time when the conditions get rough. Um, as far as features go, we, like underneath the base here, you've got a lot of bits and pieces and the whole idea of a lot of the time rooftop tenting, 90% of the time you're actually hanging out underneath the tent, you're not even inside the tent. So the whole point of being under here is that you've got enough storage for shoes, pockets and gadgets and stuff like that. You've got an overhead storage net which can hang lanterns, rubbish, towels, wetsuits, all of that stuff can hang off the ground. So that, that means that area that you're enjoying underneath your tent um, is a lot more spacious and uncluttered. Um, inside the tent you've got a really nice, we use a, um, a high density foam 60mm mattress. Um, the idea behind that mattress is you can't be laying on your side and, and going through that foam and touching the base. You're not going to have a good sleep. So we've created like a nice firm mattress, but still comfy enough that you're going to have a good night's sleep. Um, all of the stainless steel, all of the aluminium on the tent, the stainless steel is um, marine grade New Zealand 316. Um, all of the aluminium has been anodized. So that means you could literally dip this bare frame in the ocean pull it back out, nothing's going to corrode, there's no steel, there's no raw alley that's going to get gross over time with salt. So that's part of the reason that the tents last for so long. Um, and then as far as the canvases go, you'll see here we've used, this is an Aussie swag canvas, so the material that you'd see on your traditional swag in Australia. We took this because this, this black band that runs around the tent is a really high wear area. You're always lifting it up and down each time you use the tent. So that needed to be a really heavy duty grade um, canvas. So we've used a, a traditional swag canvas for that. This gray material here is the body canvas. That's a poly cotton and it's really, it's still quite a heavy duty canvas because it's not like a traditional tent where it can be really lightweight. These need to be strong enough that when you fold them up, you're going over corrugations on gravel roads and stuff like that. You're not going to get any wearing through. The wind's not going to wear through. Stitches aren't going to rip out. It has to be tough. The place that we can get quite lightweight and like is with the rainfly. So we've used a diamond weave on the rainfly, which is a polyester rainfly. It's really lightweight, but that diamond weave results in a rainfly that's 100% waterproof and super strong. So that means that we've, these tents go out with a two-year New Zealand proof warranty on them, which means that any rain, any snow, any wind, the tent's watertight and it's covered for. Um, and we're quite proud of producing a tent that. Has that 
So one of the other reasons we're working with Feldman, Shelter and West Supply is because they've become the agents for Frontrunner. So if you haven't heard of Frontrunner, it's a South African company that make all sorts of really cool four driving and camping accessories. One of the things I really wanted to do right from the beginning with the 76 is replace our rear windows. Being a wagon, access into the back is quite limited. And what we've done here is a full aluminium replacement to get into the back of the car. You can also do a glass one, but I wanted the ruggedness of this one. What that allows us to do is open that up and you've got full access into the back of the wagon. I've actually got something else planned that's gonna come up in the build video, but super, super stoked with this. I've got one more little product I wanna show you, so follow me. Well, here we go, the last little product. Really cool, and I spent a long time researching this. It was about six months, and I finally found the answer. Again, it's from Frontrunner, supplied by West Supply, and it's a drop-down table for the back door. And it's not just any drop-down table, and it's gonna make our camp life really, really nice. Nice aluminum, quite sturdy, and instead of having the wires on the side, it's come with a full mechanical system, so it actually looks really sleek. And then we've also got a pull-out chopping board there, so it increases your bench space, the cooker will go on there, chopping everything. Well, there we go, that's a wrap. The truck's all finished, it's been a massive day. Joel, thank you so much, mate. Anytime, I'm mate. stoked to be joining the uh, Feldman family. Now, we've come back to West Supply, and there's been quite a cool little trend happening here, isn't there? Yeah, everyone that's bringing their regs by the store seems to, you know, park up out front where you are, head across the road and snap a shot. Uh, looking outside the store, it's quite a quirky little store. So if you do stop by with your rig and you do get a shot, make sure you tag us on Instagram. Um, we'll share it up and, you know, spread the love. There we go. So we're going to get our photo and uh, get back on the road. <laughs>